fuck. All right. So, Harvey Weinstein has coronavirus. Yeah, he has corona. I was. Is he the first prisoner to have gotten it? Because like apparently he was. Because like that's what I saw. Yeah, that's what it seemed like, right? Yeah. Because I saw like the day before that I saw he got it. That is he the. Die the now? I don't know if he's gonna die, but I was told of that he's if not they got die. into the prisons, it would almost for certain be like a giant cesspool. Go Wait, is Harvey Weinstein in prison though? Yeah. He well, he was going to go to prison. He got 21 years. I don't know if. Uh, just in he New got York. 23. Oh, he was sentenced to 23 years in prison. I mean, just, yeah, just in New York though. He still has his LA trial he has to do. I mean, what does that matter? He still got the 23 years. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm saying he can get more. Yeah, but he's still gonna die. Dude, the fucking um. I don't know, is he being held in New York until the trial? I don't remember. I wouldn't think so. I would, dude, the dude's gonna fucking get a cushy, like, low max fucking prison oh, oh, anyway. It doesn't certain, matter, for dude. For certain. I, I, I don't know if he has coronavirus or not. He's 68, what the fuck? He's only 68, really? Mm -hmm. The dude looks like he's 100 years old. <laughs> yeah, I know. He looks like he's literally sucked almost all the vitality he can out of, it, out of other humans. <laughs> that's how that's how he stays young as he rapes women and gets the vitality. Yeah, he's he's straight. <laughs> up. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> that's he, he no how he longer stays has young. access to his drugs, so that's why he just gets. It, it's like that's why he's melting right now because so, he hasn't raped anyone. Yeah, it, it's like the presidential effect. You know how like whenever when Barack Obama became president, yeah, he and he's all gray. He became gray hair, but it's the opposite. It's the opposite. It's the opposite of Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Did he always look like such a piece of shit? Wow, he did. <laughs> he literally has always looked like a snaggletooth tiger shark. Damn. I wish he... Dude, yeah, that's someone he needed to shit. Got I feel bad for the women, man, honestly. Dude, he like, fucked up Lord of the Rings. A couple yeah. of casting parts for the Lord of the Rings movies. Yeah. I can't enjoy Lord of the Rings anymore. Fuck you. <laughs> If I was rising in and raped those women, then I would have had a good Lord of the Rings movie. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't so, get like what the motivation is. Motivation what do you of what? mean? My dick is hard. That's the only motivation he needs. Yeah. I yeah, but it just doesn't. I I just don't get it, man. Like that's just not like a normal person doesn't function like that. Like yeah, normal people want to get laid, but normal people aren't gonna do what. You know. I would say that someone who is willing to do that to someone else right, is also willing to rip and claw their way to their position. So. Oh, totally. Uh, I, I would, all right. Yeah, I get that. You're saying that someone who gets to the top is going to get there through aggressive means. Not, not specifically, because you know there are some nice guys out there. But I would honestly say a lot of the say, people at the top are the people who would do shit like that. I exactly. There, there's a reason that the biggest fucking like. There's a reason that Jeffrey Epstein, this millionaire, is a, is attracted to all of this shit. A millionaire who seemingly has no responsibilities. A million a, a home in New York that was given to him, and he still wants to do all this shit. How did uh, how did Epstein get his money? Oh, it's, we don't know. Nobody knows. No, no, we don't. What? Know. Uh, but the, his home was given to him as a gift by Victoria's Secret, like like the head of Victoria's Secret, like CEO, or something like that. And it, it, it was just written off as a gift. To you know, I, one time I, I went to Victoria's yeah. Secret to, like, uh... Buy underwear. Yeah, well, I, I was buying, like... For myself. Yeah, for myself, right. I was, I was buying, like, you know, sexy clothes for, for my girl. Because we were going to have a good night. But I wanted to be, like, surprised. So I was, like, doing... So I was awkwardly in there just, like, looking at lingerie. Not really knowing what I was doing when this... Um, this this one woman like uh, came up to me. She was one of the employees, mm -hmm. and she was like, "Do you need any help?" And I was like, "Yeah, I don't know what I'm looking at." <laughs> and she was like, "Oh, I can help you." And I was like, "I'm sorry. I'm just I'm weird. I'm a, a dude in the Victoria's Secret by myself, so it's weird." And she was like, "Well, that's what Victoria's Secret was made for. Did you know that the CEO made Victoria's Secret so that guys can go in and buy stuff for the women and not feel ashamed or awkward about it?" Apparently, that's the story that's told to the employees. Being touched. I, 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 I didn't really, know that. I don't see. Did how, you know that? I don't see how that's true. I, I didn't know that. I don't, <laughs> I don't think. 
I got asked to leave Victoria's Secret one time because I was waiting for my girl to, to be done trying stuff on in the changing room. I was just what? sitting next to that looking at shit on my phone. We'll see. And the, the employee came up to me and was like, Sir, you need to leave if you're just going to be hanging around here. And I'm like, I'm, I'm waiting. <laughs> see, the problem with Victoria's Secret is that fucking store wait, has wait, no wait, goddamn wait, wait, wait. Back, seats. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. So you, you were asked to leave? I was asked to leave, yeah, because Why? they thought I was just being a creep sitting next to the changing room. That's not... It. What? I mean, well... Yeah. Uh, um, mm, that... Mm, that... Mm. I, I get it, but... I was just... I was sitting, looking at my phone. It's like playing a baseball game on my phone. Yeah. That's so all I was do you, doing. What do you... Ah, I don't know. It's, it's like, at the one hand, I guess that is protecting your, your clientele, but at the other hand, that's, like, very aggressive. I, I don't know. Maybe they, they probably have to deal with it. So I guess I. Mm. I mean, I I I I, I, am, I have without a doubt that there are creeps who go in there just trying yeah. to look to spy on women. Yeah. So uh, Harvey Weinstein graduated from John Brown High School and then attended uh, State University of New York of Buffalo, and then he and some homies started a production group, and they brought really big acts to Buffalo, and then they bought a nightclub in New York and stayed there, and that was kind Nicole of the beginning of them. Of course they bought a nightclub. <laughs> Early work. Oh, so they created Miramax. I know, Doc. I'll yeah. be careful. No, they were real known, dude. Stand. Yeah, that, well, so it's not that nobody knows. It was just that they had a meteoric rise with the creation of this of Miramax. Yeah. I mean, the, the question is, d does the lifestyle attract those people? Yes. Or, or did Jonathan, they just fall into John, it? Uh, uh, Long-time yeah. friend Jonathan A. Dandies, Dandes, whatever, uh, described Weinstein as aggressive <laughs> and consummate in his matters of business. So, I think he was just a workaholic. And so is that the thing, though? Like, do you just do you be, are you a pedophile before you become famous, or are you? So, no, no, no. So, John, Harvey Weinstein's Harvey Weinstein allegations pedophile. aren't pedophile. No, no, I'm he just talking about pedophile. in general. Yeah, no, he's, he, yeah, he's, he's some kind of fucked up, like, megalomaniac power guy, power hungry guy, and he wants the idea. I guess women are objects in his mind. But what, which came first? Was he always like that, or uh, was it. I would it... say that a lot of. I hate to generalize like this, but people who desire power are tending to, want to be fine with stepping on those. So, I would say that. The lifestyle of anybody in power, anything in power, attracts those kinds of people. Okay. I mean, specifically, you, you first, though, with volatiles around. First, you uh, have to have this this weirdo belief that like you've got to you've got to think of of like getting a woman is like a big deal. What do you like, mean? Well, it, like a normal. Maybe this isn't even normal. This is. I guess I'm projecting how I feel. Like, I, I could give a shit about, like, a woman or a partner. Like, I don't I don't care. Like, well, it Jared, how about you check your fucking privilege? Because not all of us are alphas with sharp chins that can just get any girl they want. Look, right? it's, not, so <laughs> it's not, it's not even, it's not even, no, 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 no. It's, it's nothing, it's, it's not built into that. I mean, maybe, no, maybe it is. Well, I, it's not, okay, I cannot get, I, I, I. <laughs> He literally cannot even defend the fact that he has privilege for being good-looking. He can't even defend it. Because it, 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 uh, it... I'm not... He's totally vain, dude. I'm not accepting. I'm willing to admit either. that Jared is a good-looking dude. You are good-looking. You look, totally know it, though. <laughs> no, I look, I, look, I look good enough to... To, to get any girl you want. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, it, well I think yeah, Jared knows actually, his well, scope. But, okay, oh my god. No, no, no. Oh my god. Uh, I love this bit right now. Because, <laughs> like, I'm, oh. Because I'm not, I, well, okay. He's so I'm, mad we don't understand I, oh. <laughs> I don't, I have never, I have never, like, looked at a partner as, like, a major thing. And now maybe, now maybe, <laughs> but the other thing too is I've, I've never like looked at that as achievement. Like it's, I've, I would I've, agree with that. I've no, enjoyed okay. yeah, yeah, getting yeah. laid and it's, it's been easy to get laid because there's always willing participants in consensual. You're trying to get no, yeah. Okay. So like people like me who intentionally like don't set their sights high and then have close relationships with people who are always willing to fuck. 
I don't, I've never, nothing in my mind ever created a circumstance where I was like, God, I need her. Or looking at a chick, like, it's going to make me feel better to get laid. Like, it's it's just not a structure in my head like that. Like, I, I, I agree. never, and I, I think most, most people are like that, They're, where it's like, I, you know, they could, I don't, nice. I, don't agree I, I, I don't agree with that because, I, dude, we can see it really? now with, like, I don't know if, like, incels are the majority, I'm not going to say the majority or anything, but, like, they're definitely coming out of the woodwork right now where they, a lot of these dudes feel like they're entitled to having a girlfriend. Like, you see these dudes, it's unironic, we make fun of it, but they are serious where, like, it, should the government be mandated to give you a girlfriend? That's so, I don't there know are people that. who believe that, dude. I just, I, really? it's yeah. like, the, dude, like, what just, I don't get it. Like, uh, like I, I don't even understand my preference for women. Like, it's, it, it's like, it doesn't, like, uh, what am I trying to say here? It's like. <laughs> no, I know, we've so got, I'm, I got I'm, your point. Like, I'm, I'm preferentially, you. like, into women. And I, <laughs> that, I, that, I think that's how I was, like, born or whatever. But, like, I, I don't, if, oh my god, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm, I guess no, I'm trying. I guess I'm gr- trying to a say a girlfriend like, it's so... is not an achievement. Is yeah, that, exactly? Is that yeah, 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 yeah. Like it's, it's so not, it's arbitrary. It's not a milestone in your life. It's, it's literally so just arbit- another stepping Like it's so stone. fucking meaningless. Like, dude. Like all you're all you're talking about. Like it. You're you could fucking do. Uh, you uh, can. So fuck. women are meaningless. As as <laughs> objects. As like in relation <laughs> to me. Too. Yeah. Like uh, women, men, uh, just anything that is intelligent that can hold a conversation with me. Like it's all the same to me. I don't fuck dudes because I'm not attracted to dudes, but like my, the the way I look at a guy and the way I look at a woman are the same. Like they're other human beings. They've got a ton of other thoughts going in their head. They're really complicated. They're trying to live their own narrative. I'm trying to live my own narrative. And occasionally you meet someone who you get to have sex with, which is just another physical thing. You know what I mean? Like it's just it's I not. Mean. It's just it's not that deep. And it's weird. I know what you mean. It's so I don't think weird most people feel that, that people apply these things to it. Like, it is like obviously sex is a good time. Obviously, I touch, I, I pull my pecker, and it feels nice. And like, and like there are layers to it. Like if you if you have a very intimate connection with somebody, and you're only having sex with them, that's gonna reinforce its its preciousness in your head. Or uh, you know, if you're having a kid. If you're if you're fucking have a kid, like suddenly it's like this very like uh, sanctimonious thing, um, or if you're like a porn star, like it. I, I get Give that there's levels to, to it, Camden. but I'm I don't understand the level of the like. GRE. Man, I need her. I just I can't go Everything. on without her. Like I have to be inside of her. Detroit. And if she has sex with anybody else, it's gonna ruin my life. Like this is I, crane, do you copy? I don't know. So. I I, th- I was with you up until the end. Like I don't understand the people that are like. Where are you? Um. We need. I need this one. My my crush must be my girl. It's like no you're, you're what. Uh, the OnlyFans dudes. Yeah, so like, yeah, the, the orbiters. Yeah, the, the the ones who only want one girl, and then they're they're devastated. And they want to. They send death threats to the girl for having a boyfriend. That. I can't wrap my. I can't wrap my head around. It is. It is cool. I will admit. It is cool to um, have like a I know this girl thing, and then like see her tits. Like it is, it is cool because it's cool because it, she's like a real person in your life. Like there is a, a difference between when like a girl you're actively having sex with or a girl who's interested in having sex with her sends you pictures of her tits or like it's intentionally sexualized pictures of herself because it's like that's attainable. Like I'm, I am really going to have sex with this person. It's cool mm-hmm. to get sexual media from them, um, but I, I don't understand. I just don't understand the possessiveness of it. It's like there's so many other people, man. There's so many other people. And at the end of the day, like, it also, it's just not the most important thing. Like, aren't you more interested in making money? Like, don't don't you want to be, like, rich and never have to work again? Don't you want to, like, do interesting stuff with your life? Yeah, I definitely do. But I also know for a fact how I was before I attained my girlfriend, my first girlfriend. Like, his, like... It's not that I was interested, not interested in girls. It's just I was like you. It wasn't in my mind. It wasn't important. And even like when I had a girlfriend, I kind of just let it run its course and take control. But th- then I learned my lesson, and now I now I have the mindset I do, and that's the right mindset to just it's another thing. It's an, it's it's not this thing, thing that needs to be this giant part of your life. It's you know you found someone who vibes with you, and you fit you 
fuck with that, you know. What I'm been, I mean, yeah, but I've like I've been cheated on, and I've been I've been like I've had bad breakups that I really didn't want to go. But it wasn't there wasn't a possessive element to it. It was it just felt like I like my narrative was breaking down around me, and it just hurt. It like it, I didn't even necessarily want to save the relationship because I, I guess even in all those moments, like I still understood that it was falling apart and it wasn't salvageable. And no matter what I did, I was gonna lose it. It just, yeah. it just, it like, it just straight up hurt. It just was bad, and it was not fun. But like, I never, never in my head was I like, I can, I can realistically save this. I, I think that there are multi, there are plenty of people who don't have that kind of clarity. And I, I hate to say it, man. I think the, the confidence that having good looks brings to the well, table. Yeah, really. that's the thing, though, is like, but there's not so even just, many people not, out there like, who are like way fucking harder than me. And well, like, yeah, there's no, there's tons of chicks who I've like, I've been at the bar and I'd be like, man, it'd be cool to have sex with her. And then I've gone to her and talked to her, and she was basically like, you're ugly, go away. And I was like, <laughs> oh, that's right, I forgot. <laughs> like, like I, oh, I've that's been right. rejected. I'm a fucking yeah, shit I've been turned. I've been rejected too. But it was like the second I was rejected, like the the switch in my head went off. That was like, okay, that door's closed. Don't waste. Well, your time. see, I think that's the that's the thing though, Jared. Is like a lot of dudes don't have that. I'm not saying like every dude has. That. I'm not saying I have that. Even though, like when I was younger, I definitely had that issue where I was like, oh, you know, I'm not good enough for anybody or kind of shit. And a lot of dudes have that kind of mentality where if they get rejected, that shuts them down and they can't get out of that rut. They can't get out of that hole that they that's dug to, from them. See, what I think he's saying, though, is that the, the whole aspect of I'm not good enough for somebody is like, why the fuck do you need to be good for somebody? But that, that's the thing, though, right? It, that's the question. Why? Why maybe, do you maybe think I'm that so, way? Yeah, maybe I'm so removed from it. Because like, I, I, I do remember needing that validation but i yeah it never had the possessive element that these guys had yeah. or if it even if it if it did exist it was very temporary and i was hyper aware of it and i i didn't like feed into well i mean and i would say i was aware of it for the most part it, if i, I did I just, ever I have know that why, possessive like, i don't understand the like the like, if i could only fuck her i would achieve something see like, i I'm not even talking about that in general, but now I'm talking about like the whole mentality of like a dude who let's just let's just throw in a scenario like you're some high school dude and you're 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 kind of a loner already like uh, maybe some of us are and everything yeah and then you finally work up the courage to ask this one girl out and she laughs in your face and goes ah no and then all of her friends make fun of you and you laugh out of the cafeteria. That can definitely shoot somebody's confidence and where they turn into this whole like uh, women braiding thing and and things like that, and they don't have confidence to do anything. No, I, yeah. and, no, and I, I know I know that that's a real thing, but it's like you. I know deep down you know there are millions of other women. You're yeah, but well, so, well the, the thing is, though, is that some of these guys who get rejected and stuff, they see it as none of those women want me. Yeah, because it's happened so many times. And not even not that happens so many times. It can happen to, once. Yeah. yeah, it can happen once, people and they just are, feel that way. I say that people who I, yeah, just disconnect grow themselves. Out of it, though. Like, it, the pain goes away. I, I don't know if you grow out of it, though, dude. I'm not saying, like, us three... <laughs> D I'm don't still grow out. hurting I'm, from yeah, when right. Emily dumped me. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying like in terms of like, uh, there are some dudes who just don't get out of it, and then we, we see them and they're upset, and you know I, I feel bad for them, but at the same time it's like, man, dude, honestly, I'm not saying like grow up. I'm not trying to make fun of you, but it's like, dude, you can move on from this. You're, you will be okay. Yeah. Well, I, so what are you trying to say now? Well, I'm now I'm trying to say like. I still what I am trying to say nothing, is there are other fish in the sea. But the, yeah, these but dudes, nothing, the original, the original conversation that I had to do with the the nature of possession and the nature of achievement as it associates yeah. with other people, which yeah, I yeah, think yeah. is just I don't like I literally don't understand. It's it's so strange and alien to me that someone would behave like that. Like how how do you not understand? in the same way that you are your own person and nobody controls you that you can't control other people. 
Hmm. Like you're you're. So are you asking the, me what makes what what stops what, what makes someone different? What, what exactly I, separates I, the the, emo, the personality from another human being? The brain, uh, the brain, as far as I can understand it, looking outside, like at a Harvey Weinstein person, is that like they own the this person, this per this this sex object, right? But it's like uh -huh. do. The, the, that would mean that a sex object person has to wake up and believe their own by another person. So well, there are some people who do believe that they're nothing but an object. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I, I would say there's some people. Look like at some like they're domestic abuse I can't even wrap. I can't man. even wrap my head around what it would be like though to wake up and think like I am. I I I am owned by this other person like i am their trophy like that well that's that's I part of the like, problem i can't man. i can't i can't even think like that doesn't I can't, um I, but no that's that's part of the problem though man is like these the i'm not gonna <laughs> anybody anybody who's let's just say like a domestic <laughs> violence situation <laughs> i was trying to get to within range yeah, of the yeah. grappling hook yeah i just um, like even even a fucking like i even a, a sex slave has to know deep down like they're like i'm I can make my own decision. If I want to kill myself, I can kill myself. Like I, I control what what happens. Or, or I would <laughs> that's say the old, that's the only way out. Yeah, I would say that I can that's only their kill only myself. Choice. No, and I'm not, like, and I'm not. I'm not denying the shittiness of the circumstance, but I'm saying like you, you are never their belonging or their trophy. Like you are still, and that's what that's why like in Haiti, slaves revolted. You know, like at even even slaves who couldn't revolt knew deep down like that they weren't. They didn't belong to somebody. They were an autonomous thing. If you want. Like, ooh, it's the last mission. I know. Last right. mission of the game. You gotta kill Ray. Ray. Ray from Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> you have to kill Ray. <laughs> Dude, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to do that. You can't kill Ray. No. Why not? Because you like Daisy Ridley. Or do you just like Ray as a character? Ray, Ray can't lose. You forget. I guess you're right. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> kind of true. All right, now I'm having the seizures. Yeah, it looks like it, huh? All right, let me get this book in. Would you fuck Daisy Ridley? Hell yeah. Yeah, so would I. Hell, like, is that even a question? <laughs> she wouldn't fuck Hell me, though. Hell yeah. But I'd fuck her. <laughs> All right, let's... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You're a, you're a good-looking guy. <laughs> I, I think I'm fine in the face, but, like, I'm fat. You got I, boobs. I do. I got boobs. <laughs> if, this, if it was a couple of years ago, then maybe, when I was, like, really seriously into working out and shit. Maybe, um, maybe maybe I could have just never gotten away with it. Nah, she would have never fucked me. Either. She never would have fucked you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get eyebrows oh, until shit, I was in, like, hell? eighth grade. Yeah. Would you just shut what? up? You're the last thing I want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah, that That's fucking sucks. funny. That was funny as shit, dude. Are you kidding? <laughs> that was great. I know he's speaking on the Edegom, and since I guess you muted him on Discord. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what if in a zombie apocalypse everybody just used Discord? Yeah, that'd be funny. They're kind of doing it right now. Oh, I'm exhausted. I can't use the grappling hook. Oh. Uh, That's cool. That's for strange. No like, wouldn't a grappling hook, like, pull you? Nah, I mean, technically, but in this game, you throw it. I guess so. I mean, theoretically, that's what the, the thing is, right? It, it throws, yeah. You throw it, and then you, like, climb it. It's not Batman style with a zip line. Oh man, you're getting shit beat out of you. I'm okay. They're uh, they're kissing your ass cheeks right there. Kobe. Oh fuck! <laughs> How did that not hit you? What? I don't you didn't know. see it? No. It was like a hammer. It was a claw hammer that threw at you. Oh uh, no, I had no clue. Oh dude. Oh, you can jump down, down there? there? I thought you were like up high, I guess. Uh -oh. So you're exhausted, but you can but I run can do full all of sprint. Nonsense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, way to go, uh, Techland. Hacks. We said that a lot this <laughs> this series. Dude, they just 
So I saw an interview where they were trying to say, where somebody was like, "What's the difference between this and Dead Island?" Because oh, they, really? Yeah, they were trying to discern the difference because they weren't accusing it of being the same, but they were just, you know, like you know, they obviously are the same gameplay. They all they stole it. Um. Well, no, they're the same devs. No, they stole it. You can't steal your own. Oh well, yeah, you can. <laughs> you can't. So we talked about that. I think like the first time Jared was on here. We talked about how, like, if, if a company owns your data, you can technically steal your old shit. Yeah, it depends on the company that owns yeah. it. Like, um, like patents and things like that. Like, companies do patents instead of individuals. Like, even though individuals make the technology, so that a company can claim the technology. Yeah. Oh, the bladeless fan is just a fan, like a normal fan, in the base, and then the circle is just. What, what the are you fuck talking is this about? guy talking about? What? I thought the bladeless fan was like magnets flinging around inside of the the fan, and they created some kind of. What air the fuck current. are you all Why about? Why are you talking about that right now? I was <laughs> thinking about it. <laughs> and he just brought it up. Just, okay, so I guess we've got to. Well, stop well we're talking, talking about, about it now. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so. So what's the coolest Dyson fan? Like, I really like the tall one. You you mean like the. The ones where you can just stick your you can hand stick your hand through, it, you just Oops. smack the mic, yeah. Yeah, see, now that's a bladeless fan. See, it doesn't. You would think it was magnets spinning around in a track that was producing like an electromagnetic current that was making. Are you why would you think cool that? Down. No, you would think that there's some kind <laughs> but of fucking. But that's not what's ro going rotary on. Going not on even that. You think it's fucking magic? It's just shut the fuck. No, up. but there's there none. That's not none of that's happening. It's literally just like think of an ordinary fan in the tube before that circle, and then the circle it's is just really the small ants running on a hamster wheel. And that's how Dude, it cools down the air. We are not talking about ants. We're talking about ants again. <laughs> we are not. <laughs> Let's talk about ants one more time. Nah, but we can talk about alien invasion. We can talk about aliens again? Yes. Oh, Dude, that thing. You, you know what's cool about it, though? The it way blows it keeps cold it air. cool is that there's literally, <laughs> you know? like, bits of a... It's, it's like a stone, like a mineral stone that goes around the outside of the band. So that's, like, maintaining a constant 55 degrees. And then as the air is climbing up the innards, because none of that's in contact with anything that's being heated, like a motor, it stays cool. And that's why oh, I get it. It's kind of like the cold area. stone from Cold Stone Cream Army. This might be a good time to bring up our new sponsors. Exactly. Um, Dyson Vacuum Cleaners. And, and Cold Stone and Creamery. Cold Stone Creamery. You know, Dyson Vacuum Cleaners and or fans will keep your shit cold. You know, I personally like to sleep with the Dyson fan on my nuts every night to keep it nice and toasty. Keep your, your nuts toasty? Nice when the toasty. fan is blowing on them? Yeah, it, I'm sorry, not toasty. Bree <laughs> breezy. <laughs> breezy. <laughs> I guess I'd like we to just keep lost my nuts first, toasty. I guess we just lost our first sponsor. We just, yeah, Dyson. Cold Stone Creamery. Dyson just hit us up and said, You fuckers <laughs> don't know anything about fans. You think we put magnets in our fans? <laughs> No, Why that's a true you... story. Uh, <laughs> did you ever hear about the time that the magnet shot out and hit a woman in the eye and she lost her vision? No. Yeah. Because that didn't happen. No, that really happened. Okay, that didn't happen. Uh, Jerry, pull that up, please. Um, no. There's not, there's <laughs> nothing to pull up. He, he, will you just confirm, he's trying to say that somebody was killed by your theory. No, she wasn't killed, she's fans... alive. Okay, so. No, she, she no, she, I'm, I've got it right here. She was not killed. She didn't lose her sight. She temporarily was blinded by a projectile, and the way it projected was that a bearing came loose in the strut, which is the, the base, and then it flew up into the ring, and it sped up in the ring, away. and then when it shot out, it, it aimed for her eye. Dude. That's wild, man. What? Oh, it yeah. killed that woman. Oh, never mind. It actually it went in her her first eye and then looped around. Her I brain can't believe that Dyson good. would do that something like that. So when do you think my fan's gonna kill me? <laughs> Did you know that's a real thing? They said in, they, uh, South they, Korea. They the uh, the fans are on a timer because they uh, uh they think that the fans will kill them. And and two ways. There's one of two ways. Either the fan will make it so cold at night that uh 
you, you'll just like freeze to death, or the fan will suck away all the oxygen and you'll just suffocate in your sleep. Uh, That's real. No, it's not. No, yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it's real. All the like, all the um. This is like Inception. It just gets deeper and deeper. It's real. It's, not. it's real. So not real. It's real. And, uh, the fans of like hotels and shit, they're on a timer because of this superstition. It's real. Oh, you're. Oh, it's. Really? It is a hundred percent real. Fan death yeah. is what it's known as. Fan death is a widely held belief in Korean culture, where it is thought that running an electric fan in a closed room with unopened or no windows will cause death. I oh told my you! God. Despite, yeah, you, you despite no concrete evidence to support the concept, belief in fan what death the fuck? to this day in Korea. What the fuck? And also, to a lesser extent, Japan. Oh, Jesus! What the fuck? Electric oh, fans Jesus. sold in South Korea are equipped with timer knobs that I'm turn sorry, Jared. I am listening. Oh, there's naked, na naked dudes coming after you. Oh, good one, dude. Oh. Oh, what the <laughs> <heck>? <laughs> <laughs> inside. You got to fall. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, I told you. Fan deaths were real. See, it's easy for me to watch my new <laughs> setup. You just killed a yeah, fucking Yeah, dude, that kid, kid is dead. Holy shit. You can't do that. Oh. <laughs> you, dude. <laughs> I can't throw it. It won't let me throw it. <laughs> okay. There's the one next to you. Behind you, behind you, no, behind you, behind you, behind you. It creates a temporary safe zone. <laughs> <laughs> is that a callback to what I said to you? Yes, it is. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> <laughs> he got really upset at me, that. <laughs> you gotta get out of there, man! Like, they're coming right at you, dude! Holy shit! Oh! 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 Guys, you gotta run! You gotta run fast! Oh! I did not even... Nice one, dude! <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't even press the jump button. I tried to say that as I was in the air. Shoot the kid instead of calling him back. Oh my god! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> They're coming after you for killing their baby now, dude. That's what that is. Dude, holy shit. I did not expect that to actually work. <laughs> You're gonna fall, you're gonna fall. You're and then you got it. <laughs> oh no! I told you. Bro. Bro. <laughs> so Jordan, you told me this minute this mission takes fifteen minutes. Judging by how I've been playing it so far. Yeah, right. How long do you think it's gonna take me? I, it might take us a whole hour, Jesus oh, no. Christ. I gotta kill all these guys. Just though. run, no, just run, dude. Get out of the sewers, They're like it says. They're not threatening you. You're in their home! This is... I do. I don't know about you, but the dead people didn't build this. I am not so sure about that. What? You just think the dead people... What the... Oh, okay. there you go. Nice save. That okay. Is, that's dumb. <laughs> Alright. That's dumb. <laughs> just keep vaulting, dude. <laughs> there you go. Oh, it's a zipline. Zipline! Have you guys ever gone ziplining? Yes. I I mean at, at camp, uh, they had a zipline into a lake, but it was like that was. I've never gone ziplining. It seems like a waste of money. Is it good? Is it fun? I mean, it was fun, but I cannot see spending money on that experience by itself. What if it's like a bunch of ziplines? <sighs> yeah. But I'm too tired to use the grapple. <laughs> right? Oh my god, you're all. Oh my god! <laughs> I just hate this fucking thing. Fuck you. What if it's like you know, like a big zip line, like off a of mountain? Would you do that? Uh, I mean, yeah, I'd do that, but like, am I all, am I on vacation to do other things, or did I leave uh, this location to go zip? Right, here we go again with the unnecessary level of question. <laughs> <laughs> What if it's like you're just away for fun? You, you you're want like, me I to want say to yes line. to this? 
because um, I'll say yes if you want, but like it takes a lot to get me interested in ziplining. That is the answer. <laughs> Would you zipline in a situation like this, like through hordes of zombies? I just did. Would, That's all would I you do it in real life, Taylor? Nah, I'd, I'd, I'd just die. God! I'd let myself get eaten. You'd let yourself be eaten? Yeah. That doesn't seem very fun. Aren't you the one who would kill themselves if this No, really I would kill myself if I had, like, no way out. We ever asked Jared what he would do? Jared, what would you do? Would you kill yourself in a zombie apocalypse? What the... Yeah. Yeah? Like, instantly? What am I gonna hang out for? The opportunity to be killed in a real obnoxious way? Yeah, it's true. Or go out like a boss, OD on, on drinking gasoline. See, you know what's really fucked up about that? Like, the, the early stages of the zombie apocalypse. The legality of murdering believed zombies in the streets. That is true, that's a thing. <laughs> How long until, like, it's okay to kill the zombies? Yeah, like, as soon as you can't <laughs> Like, it at what? one... Huh? It'll, it will, it will not stop being a crime as fast as it will stop being able to be, uh, enforced. What do you, what do you mean? The, the time, the ability for the law to obtain that, like, like, uh, 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 obtain that order to not murder people who will die out before, uh, It'll change. You know, like, like, what am I trying to say? The cops will not be yeah, able you're to saying arrest. It backwards. The cops will not be able to arrest your ass because the. Uh, wow, I, I'm like having like a seizure or something. I can't like talk. <laughs> what the fuck? The legal, really the legal system will break say, down so before you. you will be able to be arrested. That's what I was oh, trying to say. Oh come on! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, oh my God, dude! This sucks. <laughs> this part sucks. <laughs> this game sucks. We have to do a hard cut and then a please stand by image. <laughs> That'll be a part. There'll probably just be a time where I just like cut all of this. <laughs> no, 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 I, no, I like no. This. I won't. We gotta keep. We gotta start keeping most of it. If I recorded like a whole day, I would only want ten minutes of solid shit. Probably. The good stuff. But like. Whoa. It's all about, baby. So, would you say like a podcast? What do you, is a what do you want to drink? Five bits? cups of coffee? You want five cups of coffee, or you want an espresso pill that's going to turn your your bloodstream into caffeine? What? <laughs> there you go, my dude. Oh shit! The big brother had to beat it for him. Oh yeah, I suck at this. <laughs> I literally spend my entire game. Yeah, just boy. Killing <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could run into Damn. the spikes. I'm yawning a little bit. I wish so too. So, we we talked about this before. So that like I at the end of this I could just like he's like, Come here, boy, and I just like wander into the spikes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of the game. You ever think about like if video game characters were real, like it's they're real like real life people and uh like you just like you don't pause the game but you're just standing in front of a character and they're waiting for you to respond and like they wait a couple hours. Are you, are you referring to like the old meme that's like your Skyrim character just waited in a position for? Yeah, yeah, hours. yeah, yeah. I didn't realize it was a meme. I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no. That. There's also another thing too that's the same principle. That's like, uh, if Toy Story was real, then like uh, you come on Jesse's face and leave, and they can't wipe oh, the cum <laughs> off because. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is also one though. <laughs> Yeah, no, I knew about that one. Yeah, they'd be trying to comfort her. They're trying to comfort her, but they can't wipe it off because then and the person would know that it's real. They're real. Mm -hmm. Although in the in the new Toy Story, they take some liberties, man. Toy Story Four sucked. I didn't see it. It sucked. I'm a big fan of one and two, and three is also good, but I'm not as much of a fan of, of those. But uh, Toy Story Four sucked. What was bad about it, though? I just didn't like it. <laughs> I don't want to go into my whole dissertation, but I look out for my uh, my Toy Story 4 is bad uh, video essay I'll coming out with soon. <laughs> It'll be out tomorrow. Yeah. It'll be out tomorrow, guys. Don't worry. What the fuck? 
What did you guys do if Trump was uh, giving a report on coronavirus? And uh, a reporter asked him a question. And he pulled out a gun and he shot the reporter in the face. <laughs> and he said, I'm president for life now. I'd probably just say, like, oh, fuck. <laughs> That's all I would do. Oh, damn. <laughs> I have another what if. Okay. What if, what if Joe Biden gets killed by the coronavirus? That's real, dude. That's no. not a joke. No. Yo, Kim Jong Un. He's gonna die, dead. dude. I hate, dude. Huh? I hate Joe Biden. Kill him. Me too. <laughs> do you, do, yo, did you hear that Kim Jong Un is dead? Kim Jong Un is dead. Damn it. Uh, it's true. We don't know. No one knows. Yeah, yeah no one knows don't. yet. I will say this: the only credible source I'll say about the whole situation is Dennis Rodman saying sending prayers. You know what I saw? I saw TMZ is the first news agency I saw that reported that Kim Jong Un is dead. Really? T TMZ, dude. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Death of the Lord. Reported on Holy the shit, TMZ. Bro. Damn, Taylor. Do you guys you're trust bad, TMZ dude. as a uh, credible news source? Uh, somewhat. They have they have something, but they are clearly biased. I will say that the only thing they take as news is video footage, whether or not they claim it's real. They're a celebrity thing, dude. Huh? They're a celebrity thing. No, I know, but they still only take video footage. Yeah, I only trust CMT fuck? news. What? Country music what TV the? news. <laughs> TV news. Oh, that was a TV news. shot. Dude. He just smacked me with a hammer. He said, get the fuck out of here. Hey, I'm a New York uh, zombie, y'all. Uh, get the fuck out of my house. That's what he said. That's what he said. You guys probably didn't hear it too well, though. But that's verbatim what he said. I'm from New York. I'm from New York. Damn it. New York. I'm on this new diet, and uh, I have, like, no energy. What's your diet? Uh, it's a die. It. Yeah. Fast. <laughs> I'm fasting. Oh. Fasting? Yeah. For Ramadan? Uh, no, not religious means. But I was. I've been doing a lot of research on fasting, and I've come to the conclusion that fasting is like what the fuck is going necessary on? to live a healthy life. There was an insane thing that I found. Uh, in, now, now, this isn't a, a case study or anything. It's just one guy, so it's not very reliable. But it is it is 100% factual, but it, it, it doesn't mean it can be, like, widely applied to many people. But, is this that guy you were telling me about? I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I was telling you about this or not. Uh, this guy was a guy in... Scotland who in the 50s or 60s was like 300 pounds and he mm -hmm. fasted for a year um, yeah I have seen that story only only taking supplements for vi like like the needed minerals and supplements that you need to survive and then uh, he was drinking black coffee he was drinking tea and he was drinking water um, but he ended up losing like 180 pounds in a year. Yeah. And uh, he. Wait, 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 I'm gonna pull up the information just so I have it from <laughs> Scottish guy facts. No, I know exactly what you're talking about, but it was under direct. It was under like <coughs> a vitamin supplement. Um, or nutritionist's uh, supervision. Yeah. So starting in uh, 65, Angus Barbary. Fasted for 382 days. Oh no way! They're all just falling off. <laughs> oh fuck, dude! It's like it's like a burning building. It's like a burning building. It's like 9/11 all over oh my again. God. I was I didn't want to say that, but that was what initially went through my head. Uh, Here, oh my god! I, I have to write something down that we. Oh my god. Damn. <laughs> this is awful. I'm actually upset about this. <laughs> Damn, he's, he's getting a lot of use out of this. 
Taylor, I can't believe you're doing these things. What a piece of shit. I'm sorry everybody has to see this. <laughs> Yo, are they still pouring? Yeah, they're still coming out. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Dude, do you think there's an endless amount if I don't actually jump to the floor? I don't know. That's wild. Hey, Jared. Yo. Would you want to be a pirate from, like, Pirates of the Caribbean? Yes. Didn't we talk? I think I think we said this last time. Yeah, I would, too. I'd totally be a pirate. It'd be really tight. It'd be fun. Get scurvy. Get scurvy. Cut my fucking legs off. Put, cut your, cut your both of your legs off. Put hooks for for legs. Hooks for legs. Yeah, dude. You just hang what would you name your dish. pirate ship? What would you guys name your pirate ships? My pirate ship. Yeah. Uh. George Washington's rectum. This is before George Washington, though. Oh right, yeah. What, what the golden age of piracy was in like the 13, late 1600s. I thought it was 12 to 14. No, dude, that, dude that's like medieval 12 time. 12 to 1400? 14, 1490, 14 something is when uh, America was discovered. Dude, yeah. 12 to 14. I'm not the smartest. I'm not the smartest. In 14, yeah, what were they, they in the Caribbean that they, know, they didn't know existed? No. I mean, I'm sure there was also piracy, but we're not talking about that. We're not there's, talking about that kind of piracy. Yeah, We're piracy talking about. Today. I know you're talking about the golden age of piracy, which was like the 16. I believe it was the 1670s until the uh, uh, late 1700s. Yeah, something like that. When uh, when Jack Sparrow was alive and shit. Jack Sparrow. Yeah, dude. I mean, when oh, Johnny, fucking. When Johnny Depp was re was in his original host body. <laughs> His original host body. Oh no, that's gonna get me. That's gonna fucking get me. Okay, never mind. Oh, oh yeah, that just jump off. What that dude's head? fast. I don't know why people cite this guy in medical records. This is, so yeah, he he fasted for 382 days without eating. Blah blah blah. He was fine. He only burned fat. That was all good. He he died though in the 90s. He was like 50. Really? I thought we were off of it. Yeah, well, you guys didn't so tell me what you name your pirate ships. Um. Jesus Christ directed. Mm. Jesus the Christ. Rusty dice. The rusty dice is pretty good. I like that. The for for a pirate dice. ship. God's penis. God's <laughs> penis. That's the good one right there. Yeah, I'd be God's <laughs> penis. <laughs> I'd be God's penis. God's fucking penis. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh oh. Ship off portside stern. Oh lord. It's the god penis! <laughs> it's the god's penis! It's oh. god's penis! Oh, god. It's coming no, 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 no. us! Instead of, instead of god, instead of god speed, just god penis. God no. penis. <laughs> it's, it's yeah, the not front, the, it dude, just is god the, penis. the bow of the ship is just a giant dick. And I'd be like, ram them! And we'd go <laughs> right in. Yeah, yes! Yo, that would be good. That would be really good. <laughs> you could say, like, all, Yo, the, what, what, all what, the pirates boarding the enemy ship is the sperm. Coming out of the <laughs> All your pirates yeah, need to be dressed in white. <laughs> you, need to, you need to have a pitch brown ship. I'll just like I'd, I'd be I'd be at the I'd be like right at the right before the what do they call it the forecastle right before the the, the, the bow right before the the ram the penis ram and I'd be like I just turn around and be like adjust mass for but fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that'd be so tight. I'm kind of mad there was never a pirate ship called God's Penis now. It's because the pirates would have been like, yo, that's gay, stop. <laughs> that's gay! Well, Actually, like, arr, pirates, that'd be gay! Were, did pirates hate the church? Were no, they no, aliens? most pirates were actually Catholic. That's what I'm saying. They, no, actually, they probably wouldn't. That's not true. A lot of pirates were. No? Actually, a lot of pirates had male counterparts that they. Kept that's what I ship. thought. Yeah. But homosexuality for pirates was actually a big part of pirate culture, believe it or not. Are you Liter sure about that? Yes. Literally yes. semen, bro. They. they Literally yeah, semen. Well, he's being facetious, but very seriously, like, pirates had, like. They, they typically had, like, someone on the ship who was, like, there on ship, on deployment. I guess you called it deployment, whatever. At, at sea. 
buddy. <laughs> it's very common. I, yeah. What would you do if you were Shanghai? What is Shanghai? That's when you get captured by uh, pirates, like like uh, some some whores get you really drunk and shit, and they throw you down a trap door, and you become pretty much enslaved on a ship. I'd do the same thing I do with the zombies. I just I'd kill myself. You kill? You jump overboard? Yeah, I'd take some of them with me. I would. Really? I'd, yeah. I'd do some dickish shit. Like I'd I'd go I'd I'd break from my chains and sprint to the magazine, and then I'd I'd blow How up. How would the you magazine. break from your chains? Uh, with my X-ray vision. <laughs> X-ray vision. Wait, 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 wait. I would wait. employ X-ray vision to see where the cracks were in the shank in the shackles, and then I'd break. Okay. The internal cracks, cracks you can't see without X-ray vision. Important. There you go. See. You. Oh man. X-ray vision. How does X-ray vision break chains? You see the breaks inside the chains that you can't see with the naked eye. And then you just slice them with your laser eyes, too? I ju no, I just bang No, he only has X-ray vision. I just bang, you bang your forehead, forehead against them? Yeah. I can fight you with that. Yeah? That's possible. What are you climbing on right now? What are those yellow panels? I don't... They're, they're Pac-Man panels. It's literally just stuff for me to climb on. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that was close. Jesus Christ, that's like freaking me out. I don't want to see Taylor die again. Oh, I'm not. The heights doesn't bother me. I just don't want Taylor's character to die again. After all he's been through. What the heck? Why is there a dude? I'm not. I'm not bothered by Bye. heights at all. <laughs> You're not good with heights? I, no, I said I'm not bothered by heights at all. Really? Yeah. What's your fear, Jared? What are you afraid of? Uh. Let me Ooh. see here. I'm afraid of a lot of things. You want, what's, how about this? Instead of just saying what you're afraid of, what's the most irrational fear you've ever had? What? I think you got a kind of things. I don't think I have irrational fears, to be honest with you. I have an irrational fear. Of what? I have a fear that, like, you ever, do you ever see, like, in stories and video games and stuff like that, where it's, like, a witch, like, goes, like, you may not know it, but... You are always under my control. Everything you do is actually my influence. So you're scared that you're being controlled by an unknown force. Yeah, and like, and I don't have actually any control of my actions and stuff like that. And but it's like some other, like, it's like an evil witch controlling my actions. Well, heads up, buddy. <laughs> you actually don't have any control. And I disagree. I can prove it. How? Prove it. Okay. Make me have a, an existential crisis right now. Okay. Tell me something that you like. That I like. Yeah. Uh, I like boobies. Okay. Why do you like movies? What brings bring you bring you back to your first time when you saw like a good movie that you remembered? A good movie with boobies? That, no, like a good movie that like drove your love for movies. Boobies. I said boobies, Tits, dude. You said boobies. So, yeah, like titties. Uh, I you said boobies. Yeah. Like big nipples, oh, nipples on mounds, brother. Okay. I would argue that if you grew up in a society full of a bunch of men, you would not like titties if you never saw them. Well, that's that's forced projection because, it, dude, that is there are th thousands of forced projections upon you all day. What? You got hit anyway. I that the quick shit. time event was for no reason. <laughs> Look at that machete, dude. That was a Persian machete there. I know, I get it. I know, I get it. What? Did you lose? What? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess you lost. So instead of doing something cool, they just take away the, uh, fucking thing. <laughs> That's dumb. They just go to a, an ending screen, I guess. It's a quick time event boss fight? I told you, dude. I didn't expect that. What did you expect? You expect to just fight the well, dude, shoot him in the head, and that's the game? Well, Tahir was a fight. I guess, yeah. Quick time stupid. This is just a fucking puzzle to memorize. It's Simon Says. Fuck you. Fuck God. Simon Says hit circle. I think, you don't even I think it's crying, man. Simon Says... Triangle. No. Whoa. Simon says square. Oh. That one almost got gotcha. you. Ooh, punch in the face. Ooh, punch in the face. Oh, square. Kick. Why isn't he using one hand? Oh, he doesn't he have cut to. it off. Oh, remember? that's right. Yeah. Tap X, tap X, tap X, baby. You're doing it, man. 
Oh, boy. Oh! I don't think that can happen. That's my rational fear, that someone's going to program a bad game and force me to play it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I've got fucking discount Danny Trejo, discount Machete coming at me. Did you say Danny Trejo? Yeah, he's, that's discount Danny that Trejo. That's definitely discount that's, Danny that's Trejo. That's discount. He's a completely di- different race. That's Danny. Boy. That doesn't. Well, okay. I'm colorblind. Thank you very much. I don't see color like you apparently care about. Uh, I just see the acting prowess, and he's trying to uh, imperialize Danny Trejo's excellent role as ma- as Machete. Machete. That's a good fucking movie, dude. Danny Trejo is Danny Trejo is a fascinating dude. I've been watching like a lot of like documentaries and deep dives on Danny Trejo. You know he uh, stars with like college students in their films. No, I didn't know that. He's a he's actually a very uh, humble actor. He's willing to do almost any role. Yeah, if he's in your town and you are off, he will respond to Craigslist ads. I don't think he's that. He's a cool dude. Um, I, don't no, I don't know if he's not. rich, but like. He, he's, he's a well-known actor, and he's willing to show up in nonsense. Mm-hmm. Like, it, and that's pretty cool. That's cool. Yeah, Dane Trejo's a sweet dude. He, um... Have you seen the movie that he's in where it's about Killer Sand? No. You haven't? No, no, what's that? What's that? Yo, they're, it's straight up, they're at the beach, and uh, if you step on the sand, it basically pulls you in and you die, and there's no but reason. That's for it. it. Yeah. <laughs> now, is it a real movie or is it a fake trailer? Because I'm pretty sure Danny. No, Taylor no, no. It's a, a it's a real movie. In a movie. It, it might be a trailer. He's in a um, fake trailer within a movie that he's already. In. You guys want to make a movie with Danny Trejo? Right, right. Let's yeah. come over the movie right right now with Danny Trejo as a star. Oh yeah. <laughs> What are you supposed to do? Are you just gonna let him? I guess so. But what? Did you just placed it there? What? Bye. God. Bye. Okay. I mean, if he had a good sharp knife, if he like maintained it like a proper gentleman, then he probably could have just placed it in his neck. That's true. I don't think. Dude, I love though this fight over the tough book went down. Yeah. What if the helicopter blades just hit you? Dude, have you seen someone get killed in that way before? Yeah! It's fucking gnarly. It is gnarly. That'd be hilarious, though. I think that'd be the best way to, like, kill a bunch of zombies in this game. To, like, lead them off a cliff and just into helicopter blades. Yeah, yeah. No, honestly, I think my favorite, my highlight of the game is that the, 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 them falling off this top of them, top of this building. That was pretty fucking funny. It's here in the city, somewhere. Of all the zombies falling off. Just now. Hmm. You're, you're not listening to me. No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm sitting right next to you. And you're just yeah. not listening. Yeah, to me. I kind of. <laughs> I was watching the game. You did it, man. He did it. All right, let's uh, let's all uh, say what do you think of the game in in three words or less. It was cool. Yeah, okay. What's going on? Bad zombie game. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, and you. Big game, ha. Huh? Big game, right? Big game, ha. Huh? Okay. Uh, what's a good zombie game? Uh, Dying Left Light Dead. 2. Left 4 Dead. What is, Left 4 Dead has aged terribly. No, it's still fun as shit. It's, uh, it's, bad it opinion is coming. Dying or uh, Left 4 Dead is poopy. Yeah, I I I think it's fun. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, 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 yeah. There's not many. What is a really good? Yay! Game over. We did it.